it is with sad news that I'm breaking up with fashion. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god! Maybe the sunglasses are matching the tie. Ooh, interesting. Hey guys, hope you're well. This is an important discussion that we're having. I came across a video on Instagram that talked about Cassandra Spintro's article Why I, a fashion lover, am giving up on fashion for now. And essentially, the author of the article just reevaluates her fashion habits and when it comes to like the the discussion of system sustainability and she also talked about the relationship with fashion and how we consume all that stuff it's a great article it's a good it's a, a good article just like a healthier approach to consuming fashion items when it comes to personal identity but also the environmental aspect the environmental impact essentially after reading the the vogue article I realized something about myself and how I consume fashion media and it's also based on my personal and professional goals from what I can tell you a bit is I've I'm interested essentially to work in the entertainment industry the main experiences that I've made are from the fashion industry I'm at a point where I think I've done a lot of fashion and I want to do something more with music and or films and that's why I'm not saying that I don't want I want to stop altogether, but it's time for for fashion and I just take a break, okay? And part of the reason why is that uh, social media is not making it easy for me to appreciate fashion. Right now, there's Men's Fashion Week, Haute Couture, and I've not really been in touch. I've not really been keeping up with the fashion news and all that stuff. Here's here's how, how I see the fashion media. When I say media, I mean the new media, so social media. There's one aspect where it's really much so about consumption, so the new trends and coming up with new outfits, all that stuff, and the other aspect which is more journalism. So it's essentially more like traditional media, but on the new media, if you know what I mean. So the aspect of fashion trends consumption, I don't love it. And the past year, like last year, I was always watching new youtubers, new content creators, coming up with new fashion styles, the new trends and at the end of 2023 I just I was just not happy with the content I was seeing. Just personally, it's I'm not saying that the the content creators are, are bad or anything. I they're doing a great job, okay? I'm not undermining that. It's just I was not enjoying the content I was seeing or I felt very I felt very removed from the discussions of what's trending, what's not trending, what's this, what's that. It's, it's, I, I do find it interesting, but it, as a constant thing, it's not something for me. You know, in moderation, okay? I appreciate it in moderation. But social media loves to just throw it, shoving it to you, matin, midi, soir, for breakfast, lunch, and supper. I don't know why, but I need to take a break from that. It can be quite overwhelming, especially when you are limited financially, because you feel like you want to participate in the trends, but you don't necessarily have the money or the funds or... I see it as a positive thing, okay? Because the fact that I am limited financially makes me not buy into the trends and also it makes me more conscious of how I want to consume fashion. I have a good set of clothes. Some of them have been there for years, since I was a teenager, since I was a teenager, and some stuff I've recently become part of the family. And I'm very happy with the clothes that I have. Okay, I shouldn't I shouldn't I shouldn't phrase it like this because I wanna be abundant, but Universe, God, thank you. I want to be financially abundant. I just don't have the money right now to buy on clothes. And I have, I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm happy with the clothes that I have. Uh, yes, great, great, amazing, great. Because I'm really happy with the clothes that I have right now, I think I have a pretty good idea of what my personalized, personal style is. And when I go on social media and there's just a lot of like micro trends happening that just that don't even aligned with my personal fashion style I'm just very far removed but being far removed doesn't stop me from appreciating an outfit okay I could, I could see someone wearing something that is completely outside of my personal style and I'm like you know what? this is good on you this is great you look confident it fits you well perfect great but just I just social media makes me makes it makes it just an overwhelming experience okay and on the other hand it's more the journalistic approach of or i would say journalistic but also like historical approach of fashion so we think of 
uh, Luc Prigent, Bliss Foster, Haute Le Mode, they have the proper, they, <laughs> they know what they're talking about, okay? They've made the research, they've done the right interviews, they know what they're talking about. And I really appreciate these types of videos. For example, the first one that comes into mind, Louis Prigent recently published an interview with Thierry, the late Thierry Mugler. I attended the exposition, the fashion exposition back in Montreal. And now that I'm seeing the interview, I get to appreciate more the designer and the house of Thierry Mugler. And I also attended at Montreal. There was an exposition with Jean-Paul Gaultier and the wedding dresses, if I remember correctly. And any discussions about Thierry Mugler, uh, not Thierry Mugler, whoop. Louis Prigent did, did do um, like Les Codes de la Mode with uh, Gaultier. And I just got to appreciate more the the fashion house and all that stuff so so i value the the time and effort that these youtubers have made in order to create these high quality videos and that's that's the thing that not everyone can do i think anyone essentially can do the first aspect of fashion which is what office do you do i've tried it myself and after a while i was like i'm doing the same office but because yes i am wearing the same office almost every day and i'm fine with that but when you're competing on social media, you always want to do something new to to attract pe new people coming in. And I can't compete with that. And I'm fine with it. I'm actually fine with this. But the journalistic approach, not everyone, not, not everyone has the time to sit down, go through the research, go through the archives, and give you a proper video. Not everyone has the resources to find the right people to in order to secure an interview with the designer or the stylist or whoever is they want to interview so this is very time consuming i'm not trying to say that the people who do the trends and office don't have like it doesn't take them a lot of time it does take time out of their day and i respect that it's just, i think i value the journalistic approach a bit more if i do want to delve into fashion videos i think that it would be more from a legal perspective because essentially i am a law student and that's what it makes, that's what it sets myself apart from other fashion content creators online is the fact that I can provide maybe a legal aspect to the discussions that are already there. If I look at both the fashion consumption aspect but also the fashion journalist aspect, I feel like I have nothing else to add on, not add anything new to the dis those discussions. Me being a law student, I think that's where I can just be a bit more extra. That's the thing that sets me apart, the legal knowledge that I have and how I can apply to to fashion. That's about it. I think it was I think it was time for me to to sit down and really think about this, vocalize my concerns. And that's the thing, I do enjoy fashion. It's just I need we need to take a break. Fashion and I we need to take a break, okay? We're not we're not divorcing, okay? We'll still so we still love each other very very much it's just right now it's a bit rocky you know we need to take a break damn this is what it looks like to be a fashion boss i'm doing well you guys are gonna do well it's fine it's, it's okay oh so that's how parents did it okay well hmm. it's, not, it's, not, it's not too hard <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding it's fine oh uh, okay well i hope you like the video and i'll see you guys next time Bye.